In this video today, I'll be showcasing how you can change your default cursor to be a custom one like this one on screen right here. So you guys can have the exact same crosshair that pro players use in Fortnite. Whether that be navigating through the lobby screen, organising your inventory, or even just going through the settings page, you will be able to see your brand new custom crosshair slash cursor. After watching this video guys, you'll know exactly how to customise your cursor to look like this or even have it any way you want. So let's go ahead and get straight into this video. Okay, so first things first, how do we even change our cursor? Well, it's very simple and it doesn't matter if you're on Windows 10 or Windows 11 as the process is very, very similar. All you've got to do is go over to your desktop and click the Windows Start button right there. Once you've done that, guys, you want to type in the following, which is mouse settings. By typing in mouse, it should just appear. Click on that right there, guys, and then your mouse settings window should appear. Inside of the mouse section right here, you want to go over to additional mouse options. And after doing that, guys, it should bring up your mouse properties. Under where it says pointers, just go ahead, click on that. You should see the customize section, and then you also should see normal select. Make sure that you click on normal select, and then you want to go ahead and click on browse just like this. As you can see in the cursors folder, there's a ton of different cursors, but we're not interested in any of these. We're interested in the cross cursors. So to find that, just type in C, and then it should come up with a bunch of different cross cursors. Now, as you can see, guys, each of these are different sizes, but the specific one that we're looking for is cross underscore IL, which is the middle one right here. Just go ahead, guys, open up that, and as you can see, it's actually selected the cross one which is the exact one we're looking for once you've selected that just click on apply and as you can see guys it's officially changed our crosshair to be a cross which is exactly what we want but this one right here guys isn't the best because of this reason right here if you go over to a surface that's not fully white or it doesn't have a full white background like the desktop for example as you can see guys it turns to a sort of transparent cross instead and this isn't ideal at all because we don't want our cross to be transparent we want it to be a full solid black color so what we've got to do guys is go back into the additional mouse options close down that go back into the pointers section right here and we've got to go on browse again and basically what we're going to do now is we're going to customize the cross underscore il crosshair and we're going to go ahead and fill it in and make sure that it is a fully solid black color and has no transparencies so this issue right here doesn't happen to customize our crosshair guys we're going to go over to this website right here which is custom.cc i'll have a link in the description below and we're going to go ahead and import that crosshair from windows into here so we can go ahead and fill in the transparency uh, gaps within it so we're going to go ahead go into import image click my computer and then you want to go ahead and click on the hard drive that you have windows on which mine is on my c file which is looking pretty full at the minute i've got to go ahead and get that down but go ahead guys go inside of there you then want to find the windows folder in itself which again this will be only on the drive that you have windows on so go ahead and click on windows and then inside of a windows file you want to go ahead and find the cursors file which is right here for me then once you're in the cursors file as you can see all the cursors are right here but we're only interested in that cross one specifically the cross underscore il one and mine is right there go ahead double click on that but then we're going to click on upload and as you can see guys it's officially uploaded and right here guys in the center you can see where the problem was you can see that's what was causing that transparency issue from earlier so we're going to go ahead and fix this right now to fix it all you've got to do is click on a black color right here and just go ahead and fill in the lines just like that and you will be all good to go just go ahead guys scroll down to the bottom click on download cursor then navigate to your windows folder again then to your cursors folder like we just did earlier and then inside here guys we want to go ahead and rename our cursor to custom underscore cursor just like that so we can find it easily after downloading our custom cursor you want to go ahead and drag it into the cursors folder right here and as you can see it plops it in right there if i go ahead and click on the custom one which is the one we just created and click on open then click on apply we should now no longer have that transparency issue so let's go ahead and test it out and boom as you can see guys it's completely fixed but you may experience another problem which is if you guys use dark mode like on youtube right here as you can see guys if i scroll over the crosshair in itself is really hard to see because of it being all black and again it's especially on dark mode may that be on your browser anything else you can see it's a really big problem to fix that problem though all you've got to do is go back over to cursor.cc where we can customize our cursor and all you guys need to do is select the white color and make a simple 
uh, outline like this, this is a really good solution for that problem that I know a lot of people have. Again, especially those that are on the dark mode um, settings, may that be on the browser, um, anything else, just go ahead and make this customization right here. If you add a white border, guys, if you go ahead and download the brand new cursor, then drag it into the cursors folder, you can see that it's added that white outline, which is great. But if we test it now on YouTube, you can see that it's much easier to see now on the dark modes. So yeah, guys, if you're struggling on seeing the default one on dark modes, just go ahead and make this customization and you'll be able to see the crosshair in itself very, very easily, just like this on screen. And yeah, guys, that's how you get a custom crosshair inside of Windows 10 or Windows 11 or even in Fortnite for customizing your inventory or just navigating on the menu. As you can see the crosshair in itself looks really cool and it's a lot better than the default boring one. As you can see if I put them side by side which one would you choose like let's be real. And it gets even better guys because again you can actually customize this crosshair to be or look however you want it to be. Just go over to this website make a customization and do what I said to do in this video and you can go ahead and make any crosshair you want. Guys, if this video helped out, feel free to drop a like on the video, drop a sub on the channel, and use code CODELIFE in the Fortnite item shop. As well as that, feel free to check out my website gamesettings.com to find the best pro player settings. I'll leave a link below. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.